whatever we want. And FaceTime does 16 people. So fuck it. I'm, guys, I'm announcing guys, right now. I'm moving off of Twitch. We're going to FaceTime. <laughs> going to fucking FaceTime. We're going to FaceTime. Jesus. Apple bad? Oh, man. You know, Ian, actually today, we were in uh, Wayne's server trying to play Minecraft, and he couldn't actually get on voice chat because the Android app of Discord is apparently broken for him. Oh, that's weird. So he could only voice chat if it's in a direct call. If it's not a direct call, he can't hear anybody. So we had to make a direct call. Wow. I don't know how that happens. I told him to, like, wipe the thing off of his phone and try again, and it didn't fix it. That is extremely bizarre. Yeah, that, I don't know what happened there. I'm going to invite you. Okay. 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 Damn, Beaver, okay. Damn, Shawty, okay. <laughs> Item in. Let's play some video games. Did you hear that, by the way? What? Okay, so we're good. I have toggle to mute now in case I need to talk to someone in chat so it doesn't. Oh, go that's actually. Confused. That's cool. I should yeah, do that. I, I found out how Discord works. Wait, what? Splatoon. Hawk just said Titanfall, the new Fortnite. Titanfall is Titanfall is your new Fortnite, isn't it? I mean, in a sense, yeah, because it's now the main game I stream. I used to stream Fortnite for like a solid year, I, less, maybe more. I don't know. I do think Titanfall more so deserves to be your mainstream game than Fortnite. Well, did. listen, okay, Titanfall is a great game, but it doesn't have a ninja werewolf, so I already take a couple points off of its score. You so. know, I, I I, want to disagree with you, but I'm failing to find an argument. Yeah. Is Orange Hair Man streaming? I forgot his name. No, Donald Trump is not streaming this game. If you're referring to Searbit, yes, he is. Orange Hair Man, that's me. I'm streaming. I'm with him. You're, you're Donald Trump? That's me. Uh, yes, I'm a street. I can't do a Trump. I. Listen, I would tell you right now, I do the fanest Donald Trump impression I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> well, when the bar is Look just at my you. pilot friend over here. Are you the greatest? Aren't you the greatest? Are you okay? Hello, orange hair man. I forgot your name for a second. Uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to forget about me when I'm streaming with the, you know, the one and only Big Bad Beaver. Listen, just because I was featured on Kotaku and you weren't, all right, doesn't mean you're less of a gamer. Well, I was featured on Gaming on Linux and also for Onyx.com for different reasons than streaming. Time the fuck out. What the fuck just happened there? Already the melee hit detection is broken. Oh yeah, you, you want an explanation for that? It's because there was a pilot on top of the Titan. No, no, not that. <laughs> there was a fuck. I know, okay, I'm just fucking with you. I mean, still, I think there's plenty of room for two Titan, uh, two pilots. Two pilots, one Titan? Hello? Oh, um, whoa. Uh, um, BT would like to know your location. God damn it. I just died to lock it, uh, Rocket League 420. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Also, oh, hi, hi, Saran Wrap. Uh, how are you doing on this fine Thursday evening? Damn it. I'm running an experiment with uh, OBS. I'm trying yeah. hardware encoding. For... On AMD cards? Yeah. Bold. It's actually working surprisingly well, I think. Bold move, Cod, and we'll have to see how that one plays out. <laughs> Hang on. If it fails, Whatever we then... want. I was not streaming this. I mean, I just, I just heard absolute <laughs> horror stories based on the quality. Well, the bars Look at my pilot friend over here. It's actually yeah. the greatest. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the video, and it's actually 
like, it's a little blurry, but it's actually fine. Like, it's smoother than my typical recordings. Yeah. I know, I know. It's And not only is it, um, on AMD, it's on AMD on Linux, which, I mean... Isn't that just, like, a cesspool of sadness? It's... For gaming, no. For com uh, compute, yes. Absolutely. But it's working well, like, so far at least. Wait, how are you playing Titanfall 3? I don't know, man. How am I? What, was that Saran Wrap? <laughs> Doing great, kid. How are you playing Titanfall 3? We have I got, a, yeah. I got a Linux early access version. key. Yeah, exclusive for Linux. <laughs> I was just talking to someone about, like, what if Half-Life 3 finally came out? And Valve made it not only a VR exclusive, but a Linux VR exclusive. How the fuck would that? Are you even able to do VR on Linux? Oh yeah, yeah. Because every VR game I see on on uh, Steam is like Windows only. Well, you can play uh, VR games through Proton, some of them at least. Uh, like No Man's Sky VR works on Proton, and I think Half Life Alex does as well. So they could and do it, if they really wanted to. It would piss off a lot of people, but they could do it. Yeah, I say, I, I, uh... Saran Wrap's now telling me you're on Titanfall 3 as well. Yes. We were talking about that a minute ago before we started up our, uh, this game. How Titanfall 3 is listed as a category, so as a meme, he put it down. Yep. Although you technically, um, actually as a, uh, uh, you know, a, a person on Twitch, you need to be aware that, uh, you could be using... Oh god. I, oh, Jesus. I spawned my Titan and immediately got crushed by Titanfall. Your own Titan? No, someone else dropped their Titan on my freshly dropped Titan. Oh no. I got in it, boom, dead. Anyways, uh, technically you can get in trouble for misclassifying your channels, but... What do you mean, dude? This is Titanfall 3. We got a... We, as affiliate Twitch streamers, got a, um... Affiliate Twitch streamers who really like Titanfall, we both got, uh, early access keys for it. I'm gonna be honest, I have very much been interested in making my own video game of any kind, and, like, if I were to do some, like, release of it, or, like put out a beta, I would literally only make, uh, I would only allow small streamers to be able to try it out early. I would not, like, if Ninja emailed me, like, can I try out your game? No. <laughs> Why? This is for, I don't, because I, small streamers never get that type of treatment, I feel. They, yeah, they really don't. Hi, it's me, like, sometimes Ninja have, Fortnite, uh, and I want to stream your game. It'll be called Beaver. The story of the dam. <laughs> just Beaver. Uh, yeah, just Beaver, actually. <laughs> I'll call it Beaver. No, that doesn't count, Twent. Stop. He's saying Zombie Twitch is a game I made. Yeah, we're gonna release that to the fucking affiliate. Yeah, dude, just just give it out to, um... Ma <laughs> that's, that's, the, uh, that's the goal if we do another charity incentive. Oh, Jesus Christ. Send out that game to a bunch of small streamers. Would you like to try out this new game? It's coming to Steam. Early <laughs> access. Did you just smack me? Yeah. Oh. Was, yeah, I got you. I got you, homeboy. Thank you. I didn't realize there were so many uh, bad people down there. Oh, this stupid legion. You just keep shooting me. What a fool. No, he's gonna charge up his thing. I thought we were being friendly. I, I'll laser him. There we go. <laughs> no, you don't. Idiot. Yeah, he just tried to dip out of there. Bye bye. Send that one to Ninja and send an actual good game to the other streamers. Oh god. <laughs> Here Ninja, try out Zombie Twitch. Zombie Twitch? 
Wait. Oh my god. Wait. Beat, you're a you're a Twitch streamer. <laughs> That's the storyline, the secret storyline. You're a Twitch streamer in a zombie apocalypse. Oh. I can't believe zombie Twitch is so much more intense and in depth than I previously thought. I'm killing all these pilots, but I can't help it. They just keep walking in front of my lasers. Yeah, they keep trying. They One of them has been just straight up standing in front of me <laughs> and, like, letting me kill them. They're not even trying. Not moving. No, they're not. My Titan is going to blow up soon, but I want to try and get it to level 3 because it's only, like, 15% away or some shit. 17%, 18 God, Math is hard. Math is hard. That's why I choose not to do it. Rocket League 420 is hitting me with the, uh, the old yeet. Fuck, uh, uh, well, There goes my Titan. No! You didn't believe hard enough, that was your issue. I believed! I have fucking level 3, let's go! And we won? Holy shit, look at that score! Yep. They didn't stand a fucking chance. God damn, that is... fucking... sick. Can't believe Titanfall 3 is real. I somehow didn't do that great, but I feel like I did amazing. Yeah, 13 and... Yeah, actually, that's pretty good. I think everyone on the enemy team just did a... Not very well. Alright, let me... Let me see this video. Whatever we want. It FaceTime does 16 people. So fuck missing right... Yeah, this isn't, like, amazing. Oh, a lovely yeah, thing. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. For AMD. Yeah. As best as you can get it. Well, I mean, I, f I feel like it's about the same quality as the Twitch stream. So. Mm hmm. Not great, not terrible. It's fine. But for hardware rendering on AMD on Linux, that's. I'm, I'm happy. You know? And plus, it takes a load off my CPU. So, perfect. Which is exactly what you need. I I think going to NVENC encoding was a great decision. Because it I've noticed such a big improvement in a lot of games yeah. that I stream. It's so nice to have the CPU just be able to like play and not have to worry about anything else. It's like I feel like uh, if know. I had like a thirty like a fifty nine hundred X or thirty nine hundred X, I'd probably be better off and I'd be able to use CPU encoding for everything, but for most games, I can use CPU encoding for both, but then, like, first-person shooters like this, it just kind of struggles a little bit. Yeah. I would, like, I don't know, like, if I were to go to CPU encoding, I would probably only want to do it if I had a separate streaming computer. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the play for a lot of people. Yeah. I feel like a, like... 50 set, a 5950X could probably handle it, no problem. Or maybe a 12-core, but... 8-core, if you're doing something like this, it's just not that good. No, if you're streaming and recording on separate encoding instances. Oh, God, you were were you doing different quality settings for your recording, too? Yeah, because um, I wanted to be able to pause recording so that I didn't have to merge the video files later. What is something I miss about pre-corona? Being able to go to a restaurant. Yeah, I miss Abbey Burger. I hope they don't close down. I hope a lot of restaurants don't fucking close down. There was one I was really excited to go to this summer, and it... that didn't fucking happen. I am dead. 
Don't worry, bro. True gamers don't die. They just respawn. <laughs> oh, whoa. No! I'm stuck on a fucking plane! I oh, don't know. I got arc. I got arc. Arc thing. Ah. I'm here. Oh my god. Oh. Jesus, how am I still alive? Got him. Fucking fun. got him, bitch. Miss being able to do anything. I miss getting a proper education. Yeah. This COVID sucks. COVID really is fucking awful. Truth is, I just miss my friends. I had a lot of friends on campus that I would hang out with, like, all the time. And now, like, none of them are on campus. Everybody's doing online at this point, if you're in college especially. Yeah. So sad. You hate to see it. Kinda do, though. I certainly do. I'm gonna stay out of your way. There, I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, being able to do online schooling is is great, you know, and and being able to work from home is also pretty cool as well. But like, the pros do not at all outweigh or come even close to the cons of COVID. No, they do not. No, they do not. There are three people in the middle hallway. Be careful if you go over there. Well, I got flatlined. However, I killed like two of them. So, well, you know, you win oh. some, you lose some. Fuck. Oh no, you're breaking- Oh god! Goodbye. I just seen the death cam grab him and throw him to the ground. <laughs> yeah, fuck that so guy. Rude. What class are you running? Uh, phase shift. Okay. I'm also a robot. Robot brothers. Robot, robot bros. bros. Robot bro. Which actually, like, with this game at least kind of makes sense, because when you die, it's like, oh, I just get rebuilt. I'm yeah. a new robot. If you're an actual human, then how did you come back? You uh, were killed. Magic. The power of gaming. Power of friendship? Power of friendship? friendship? Oh my god. I'm blind, I'm fucking awful. That's a lot of friends. They're all dead. Oh, whoa! That's how you settle a score. I can drop my Titan. I can also. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Oh! Let's go. I might be able to fuck up that one guy. Let's get him. He knew he was done for. Got him. Dominate. He knew it was over. Oh! Oh, there's an ion over there. Yeah, he's kind of lasering me, not gonna lie. Why do, why do monarchs and legions never realize that shooting into my vortex shield is a bad idea? They hate gamers. Oh, they just hate themselves, that's probably yeah, more likely. They just hate themselves. They hate themselves. Alright, well, I just got charged rifled, so... That is not... Nope. I'm out of here. Oh, shit. We've got a little convoy going of little robots. But, uh, I, I'm hopeful COVID is, is done with soon. The vaccinations are going well, it sounds at least. Yeah, uh, my only worry is all the mutations that have been happening. But, I mean, so long yeah, as the vaccine continues to work. What is uh, the deal with the South African version of it? I'm not sure. I haven't looked too deep into it. How is this guy not dead? I just missiled the fuck out of him. What can I say? He's just more gamer than you. 
I'm actually very confused now as to how he's... I have no clue what the fuck just happened, seriously. I missiled both of them twice and they just did not die. Shot. Right? Shooting me. Why am I still getting hate? Why am I still getting hate? Or the beaver version. Why am I still being grieved? God damn it. Now I just want someone to take a photo of Keemstar, Photoshop my face onto his, and then just do why am I still being grieved? <laughs> yep. Speaking of which, I'm su I'm kind of surprised. I didn't check, but I did not see Keemstar at all on Cameo. Really? Yeah. I feel like that would be right up his alley. Oh, I don't know, maybe he's too prideful for it. Really? I mean, he does like making easy money, though. That is surprising. I feel like people would have a lot of lines they'd want him to say. I don't understand. I, I'm sh ev like, I feel like every time I'm going to melee someone today, the game has just decided, no, your fist is not going to connect with them. It's gotta be better. What the fuck was that sound? Oh, hello, Monarch. Come here. Come here, come here, Monarch. Oh yeah, you think I didn't see you? Get on that Titan. Get off me. I am doing awful this match. I'm doing. I'm, I'm kind of popping off, low key. Once again, you're top frag, but okay. Well, I have been playing this game for a pretty long time. Yeah, you know what? It's you putting me in fucking, like, 8 gen lobbies, and I'm just getting slaughtered. <laughs> so thanks. You're welcome. I actually do want to get 8 gen, just so I can have the stoic orange skin, and have my robot be pure orange. You know it's kind of a blue tone. Yeah? Yeah. Like, I'm I don't know sure. that orange. Oh no, I've got I've got an orange skin on my pilot right now, but my eye on. Yeah, the pilot I want orange. Absolutely, that looks sick. I mean, you're already glowing red to all your enemies anyway, so it's not like it really matters what color you are. No, got a so, tactical camo. What? What? I I'm just confused as how to the fuck that works where I killed someone by punching him, but I punched the air. Like, I killed two people where I really shouldn't have. I didn't see him. Oh boy. Hmm. Strange. It could be server issues. I know last night the servers were having issues. I couldn't stay in matches sometimes. Oh well, goodbye Titan! Wow, that is rude as fuck that he just tried to slice me in half. Ronin's be like... No, 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 no. No, fuck this guy. Push him. No! Oh, thank you. I'm good. Oh, oh, I Ion, please. Oh, hi there. Hello there. Hello there. You just nuked me. God damn it. Oh. Wait, you actually I, you fool. Well, I survived, but you got nuked. I lost, like, all of my battery. I'm being shot at. Nope. Okay. 
Oh. Oh, I can just see through the world like that. So I've been playing some Destiny 2 as of the last couple days. Really? Yeah. Um, How has that been? Well, I don't know if you heard, but they kind of removed like all the base game content. I did not. Uh, so with the latest DLC, Beyond Light, they removed, I think like, let's see, they removed Mars, they removed Titan, uh, and they removed one other moon, I don't remember which one it was, but they removed like a ton of base game content. They removed the base campaign, which I paid for when the game came out. So the game I paid $60 for in 2017 can't even access the shit I bought. What? Yeah. And the new expansion? $40. It's just, it's it's kind of impressive. And that's not even including like the three season passes. So like if you want to get all the content for the next few months, you have to fork over $70. That's fucking crazy. They had it on sale for 25 a few days ago for the base DLC, not for the whole thing. That was unfortunate. But it's just like, you're, you, you both took away what I paid for originally, and now you want to sell me, like, a quarter of what was included in the base game for almost just as much. Yeah, that's... I know someone who, uh, Ewok, he loves uh, Destiny 2, and I've been interested, like, maybe, you know, one day I'll try it out with him, but, like, the idea of spending $60 on a game in 2021 is just, like, why would I do that to myself? Yeah, I mean, the game's free to play right now. There's just not a lot there. Yeah, but... In the base game. So. I'm also just not a fan of those types of games where it's like loot or shooter. It's like you just you just run around and just pick up guns. That's the whole point of the game. It's like... Yeah, eh. like the gunplay is good, but that's kind of all it has going for it. Well, the environmental design is good. It's just like the core gameplay loop is kind of fun, but everything around it's just like, why am I bothering? Right. We can't do this in Apex. They, they on what? What is the fucking line? Um, you ain't from Michigan if you ain't ever done this before. <laughs> you ain't from Typhoon if you ain't done this before. Almost Gen 26. We getting there. God damn it. I need I to. Got stoic pine. Wow, I love that Ooh, skin. Green. Green. Wow. 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 I could actually be pure yellow. I might just go pure yellow for now. Kind of like that. Do it. Pure gold, baby. Yeah, I'm a golden robot. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna go stoic overcast. I actually have all the pilot camos unlocked. Really? Yeah. Do they transfer over based on the type of pilot you are, or no? Yeah, yeah. It uh, your tactical doesn't matter. Okay, good. If if it were different for each pilot type, I'd test. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Understandably be so, yeah. That would be really obnoxious. Oh yeah, you gotta have to unlock that all over again. Fucking. That that's that's some shit COD would do. First we fight, then we I can't fight. even. I, Call of Duty is just like, what the fuck? I can't even imagine Call of Duty. I can't wait right to now. play the same thing again this year and pay 60 <laughs> I cannot wait to spend $60 on the same game. <laughs> it's fucking incredible. Madden players be like, <laughs> damn, Madden, this. 
<laughs> this new gameplay sure is innovative. Didn't, Different menu. Didn't like FIFA 21 have FIFA 20 assets like in plain view in game? Yeah. Uh, also, NBA 2K20, I think, still had the 2B, uh, 2K19 logo on PC <laughs> for the desktop icon. That's fucking hilarious. It's like, dude, if if you see that shit and you're still like, nah, I'm gonna buy the next game, it's like, what are you doing? It's, you know, I feel like the one thing that would ruin those kinds of games is if one of them added mod support. Because the only oh. reason I can think of to buy a new FIFA game, or a new Madden, or a new 2K is for the new players. Right, yeah. And mods do that for you. Like, someone will just come out with a mod that's just player replacement, and there you go. Easy. Yeah. Now you've lost all your money. But dude, then you miss out on the new menu UI. Oh my god. It's been streamlined. Bro! New streamlined menu UI. Fantastic, god. epic, Fuck 3D me. graphics. Damn it. We added Keanu Reeves. New Keanu Reeves loadout? Hello? <laughs> I want a gun in the next Titanfall game that every time you shoot it, it just fires a tiny Keanu Reeves at somebody. I would use they that. They get overwhelmed with, with uh, gratitude and, and breathtakingness. I, I think You're in, in Cyberpunk, Keanu Reeves says something about having an impressive cock. He does, yes. There is a line where he's talking about, I think, his dick. That's so epic. Fuck me, I was in a building. They're kind of hanging out on the buildings on the other side of the map. Oh, I, I can't see, do shit, though, because they all have snipers. One. Oh. I'm dead. He kicked me. He kicked me! That is unfortunate. Yeah, math hack. You can't spell Big Bad Beaver without sus. Is that true? No. Not even close. There, is, okay. there isn't a single S in Big Bad Beaver. I was just curious. I was like, what do you... You can spell sus in Big Bad Beaver? Okay. Yeah, you... Oh, this, this motherfucker just... Bam... Oh, you got bamboozled! You've been bamboozled. I just became a hover thing person. I don't know. I can't believe Mirage no longer has Sonic's voice actor. Because the voice actor for Mirage no longer voices Sonic. No, he's breaking my fucking neck! I don't even have a neck. Well, there's there's wires in there. Just snap the wires. I don't think those wires are that viable or valuable. Yeah, you get bamboozled by my fucking bullets, idiot. Okay, it's not a great sign when I'm second fragging and I only have four pilot kills. Am I? Oh, I'm. I have double the score of anyone else on the team. Yeah. Oh my god. I am. This is a carry. I'm dropping my Titan. Oh no. And did he just cloak as well? Yeah. What a dink. Where is he? Where are you? I don't know where he went. Where'd he go? Warning. He's on Last top of me. On board. I got him. You got him? Yeah. yeah. Let me get my battery. Take battery back. I hate it when a pilot grabs onto you and it's like last second you deploy shield or, or the smoke or whatever. Yeah. You can't do shit. Well, there's also low profile, which makes it so that you can't, you don't get the alert until uh, the pilot's almost done pulling your battery. Oh, Imagine this... using that perk when you have fucking quick fix. No, it's, you can stack, it, it's the other one. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I am. Oh, I'm gonna get fucked. Never mind. Oh no. Oh, actually, that's fine. No. Wrong. Melee pushes, and uh, the Ronin melee pushed me, so I couldn't execute him. And then he executed me instead. I'm just getting fucked right now by the pilots. They're all hiding in the buildings over here. Hang on, I'm coming. Ronin's just a pile of scraps now. Epic Man 2. Is that his name? I, that was his name, but the question is, is he that epic? You know, but. I, I've, I've spoken to him on occasion. Uh, I believe he is, you know, moderately epic. Moderately? Yeah. Like, I'd but say probably that, a, a, a six. Right? I don't think a six out of ten makes you allowed to call yourself epic, man. Sorry. Not on ep my epic scale. <laughs> oh god. Hashtag, oh god. not my epic scale. Yeah, not my, not my epic scale. He's not epic to me. It is epic to me. Oh no. There's, is that a, there's a monarch through there. Oh good. Oh, there's a North Star through here! Oh god. A lot of robots, not a fan. Goodbye, Epic Man. Are they all in robots right now? Uh, five of them are. So oh, you can- I did not know you could just straight up see who's in what. Yeah. That's helpful. Uh, that's- usually I wait to drop my Titan until a bunch of people on the team have bar. Like, yeah. Well, we're monarchs too, so like, what the fuck are we gonna do? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> go team, go! Go team, go! We're just here for emotional support. The monarch cheerleader squad. Yeah. Oh my god, he's Oh, he's got smart core. Goodbye, idiot. Wow, the poor robots. I see a North Star. Well, that pilot's not gonna be happy in a Come here, Northy. Come here. I have a present for you. Wow, I'm getting kind of fucked up right now, but... Goodbye. Oh! Did you just snipe him in the head? No, I just, I just, uh, salvo cored him a flight coring North Star. Fuck Tony! Uh. <laughs> Dominating. Just type in chat, stay mad. Stay mad. <laughs> Don't care, didn't ask, stay mad. <laughs> oh shit. Why do I spawn on top of a fucking... I don't get that. Oh no, oh no no. Yes, got him. Well that pilot's not gonna be happy in a few. I saw you. Oh! This is the most gamer I think I've ever been. Come on! Don't lose it now! Stay mad, stay mad, stay mad! Don't die, please! Run! Yeah! <laughs> Run! Viva la revolucion!
Now we all now we all have the robots, that's great. I'm gonna ignore the Rona. And go for the North Star. Wow, I did a fucking awful job. So how are things going over wherever you are? Are, they, are you winning? Um, what are you fighting? Are you winning some? Yeah. Are you winning some? Uh, you know, actually, yes. Very good. Oh, Jesus. I, I feel like every angle I'm getting Goodbye, shot Roman. from right now and nothing is safe. Uh-oh. Yep, that's an outie. What happened? I got sniped by a monarch. Oh no. I don't know how, like, that was some really good RNG on those shots. Is there a way to make the map bigger, or no? Nope. Okay, well, I kind of would want that in the next game, though. Nope. Yeah, that would be nice. I mean, the, the Frontier Defense map is pretty big. It, it's, like, it's a lot bigger, actually. But I actually, no, I think it's not physically bigger. I think it's just, it's just zoomed, zoomed out. Zoomed out? Okay. I mean, I would be fine with that as well. I just want to be able to see, especially when I have a map pack, like, I want to be able to see everything. Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah, I do think, like, a full map would be nice. Uh, like, press that's M, fucking brutal. Press M for big map. Press M to throw the game. We did it. Oh my god. We did it. I'm proud of us. Dropping mine. Huh? Hide the Reapers. See, if you do the if you do the predictions now, I'm gonna vote win because I'm here. I've, I've kind of calmed down with the predictions. I haven't done the predictions in a while. I feel like that was a one-time thing. I don't know. Wow. Beaver hates... Beaver hates his chat, everyone. Clearly. I mean, we've all known this. We've all known this. This isn't anything new. What if Beaver didn't hate his chat members? Hey, you want to see something... You want to see something cool? I'm dead, but sure. Check this out. Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> Into space. To the moon. Poe's mad. I'm going to open your chat on the right side of my screen. Uh, it's been a little quiet in my chat. I don't know about you. Yeah, it's been quiet in mine too. I've noticed I've had a lot of, of lurkers, especially when I stream this game, which is, you know, that's fine. Yeah. That's how some people are, you know, they just want to watch. Yeah. Okay. 25.48, almost there. What are you trying to get? Uh, Gen 26. Hmm. What's the uh, level cap? 100. Or the, well, the level cap is 50 for, uh, per okay. generation. But the generation. I might, I might be, I might get generation 3 tonight. Hell yeah. That would kind of be sick. How many hours total have you played in this so far? Uh, I'd have to check Steam. Hold on. Let us see. 
I have put 43.7 hours into this game. Wow. You'll hit you'll hit 2000 in no time. There we go. Wait, how are we in game together if you're playing Titanfall 2? It's cross platform. It's cross generational, oh, just like uh, Overwatch 2 is to cra uh, Overwatch 1. Is that are they really doing that? Yes, they are. So it's going to be the same game then. It's ba they basically already said that it's going to be the same game. It's uh, it's actually incredible. They literally they pretty much said the same type of updates that are coming to Overwatch 2 will come to the original. What what why, why make a second game then? I think the second game is going to have like a single player mode and a co-op mode. But, but the, like, other than that, you... But they could just I, add that to the first game? No, that would be too easy. This is Activision Blizzard. Oh, that's true. That's true. They want people to pay for more game. We want that money. We, we, need, we need that money. All right. I need that money to pay my bills. You know what I'm gonna put on my Titan? Uh, a smiley face. Ass. Sorry? <laughs> There's pin up nose art. Up just. of a nose? No, on, on Titans, you can put nose art on them. And uh, each Titan. I think most Titans besides Monarch have a pin up. Oh. I didn't know. That that existed, because yeah. I only play Monarch. You can put bitches on your Titans. Why don't you stop worrying about dropping Titans and dropping those hoes? <laughs> Grabs, why don't you steal a formula to get some bitches? <laughs> God damn it. Those are the best memes. The faster we win, the faster we drink. I saw a meme where it was the intro to the giant in Black Ops 3, where they're like, no, don't open the door! And Rick Toppin opens the door, and it, when the when the video ends, you can see the faintest glimpse of Goku with drip. Oh, Jesus Like, Christ. just his elbow and two spikes of his hair poking out. You have to be careful with that drip. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ, it's the drip the sense out. <laughs> the drip is a path to abilities some consider unnatural. This dude is named. Is it? Uh, Echi Sensei Uwu. Yeah, he's been fucking me up. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Look, a pilot. Now the odds are in our favor. Yay, one of our pilots is here. I'm so happy. We're gonna be saved. <laughs> God, I wish. We're gonna be fine, guys. Everything's okay. These grunts. Man, I feel so bad for the grunts who drop in at the beginning of the fight and they don't even know that they, it won't end until the time limit does. They're like, oh. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to die. A pilot, we're saved! It's like, oh. Um, yeah. We just started the game, guys. <laughs> yeah. So. We got a ways to go. Back up, back up. What? Man, what if Apex added a single player mode and like a co-op mode where you had to like defend some kind of big object with a harvester? Oh my god. And like and regular, okay. you know, team deathmatch? Okay, but what if as well for like a limited time event and like that limited time event could be like infinite, I guess? They put in the Titans from the original Titanfall games. You know, it's what funny. Do you think about that? They did a, um, I think Titans would actually ruin Apex, personally. Uh, I think they would do what the Brute did to Fortnite. You're gonna have to contextualize that for me. Okay, so in Season 10, apparently, like, Fortnite behind the scenes was doing the data, and 
this this was like right when the game was getting super fucking sweaty. It was all about competitive. Everybody who you ran into was a Fortnite god. And they were like, newer players are quitting the game because they're getting frustrated. They can't win a game. So we'll put in this super overpowered robot that is specifically designed so that pretty much you get in it and you just win the game. That and eventually what happened was people complained so much they nerfed the robots to the point where only like a few would spawn at a time. So it was like, a, it was kind of rare to find one towards the end of the season and they were, they were still kind of fucking ridiculous, but they, they were much easier to kill than original, but they were basically getting me to win the game for free. Wow. Yeah, that sounds awful. And it sounds like what Titans would do to Apex. Actually, Apex was originally a mode for Titanfall 3. Um, and then they were having so much fun with it that they decided to just make it its own game. But it originally did have Titans, and they removed them because they realized, yeah, this this kind of sucks. This doesn't really help I, gameplay at all. I definitely think it would be way overpowered, but if they put in, like, the map pool, like, or the weapon pool, like, just random fucking anti-Titan weapons you could find, and then, like, you could either, like, call in a Titan by gathering enough of a resource of some kind, or, or doing something, I think that would be interesting. I think they're... Hmm. Yeah, it could be. I actually think probably a better idea would be to add, like, just, like, random bigger AI enemies, like Reapers. Like, if they added Reapers into Apex, where they would spawn, like, late game, Right. I think that would actually help uh, the playability of it a lot. Because it doesn't really give anyone a particular advantage, it's just an extra enemy that you have to worry about. So yeah, that's another thing Fortnite did, where they just started, like, randomly having these AI characters spawn in the map, and they were either fucking ridiculous to fight, or they were the easiest thing in the world. And I imagine people complained about that too. Oh, it's Fortnite. People complain about literally every portion of the game. I cannot get through this fucking hole. This is kind of ridiculous. Boop! That's the second execution of this game. I love the Pulse Blade one because you just jump on top of them. Like, fucking going for a ride. And then stab a Pulse Blade directly into their face. Epic! God, it's so epic! It's so epic, I might fucking scream! Urgh! To unlock that one, you have to kill ten pilots with a direct hit from a pulse blade. Which isn't as hard as it sounds. You just need to use gravity stars. I think I got it in like a day. Wow, aren't you the fucking grinder? Well, I wanted all the executions, and now I have them. So whenever I execute someone, it's just a random roll of all the ones in the game. See, if you just want something in Fortnite, you just buy it. Isn't that much better? Isn't that so much better, guys? Yeah, guys, isn't it great when, you know, you have no reason to play a game because anything you want to unlock, you can just buy? That literally was every portion of the game, though. Yeah, I, I really like the model that this game has, where... I mean, you can buy things that you want, but you have to buy them with... Oh, I almost got another execution. You have to buy them with the currency that you earn from, you know, playing the game. Yeah. If you can buy them anyway. Some of them you have to unlock with, like, little missions. It's nice. You just, you know, you just get what you want. Also, FYI, all the Prime Titans are currently $6.99, the bundle for all of them. So if anyone, a good deal, but if anyone wants, I mean, you only play Monarch and there's no Prime Monarch, but if anyone oh. wants uh, all the Prime Titans and Prime Titan executions, now's a good time to get them. Wait, you can't just play as like BT? They don't have like a BT Prime or? Nope. Wow. Kind of a missed opportunity, I feel, but okay. That would have been cool, yeah. I, 
I'm in like a zen state right now. I'm just like moving around the map and shooting everything I see and it, it just dies. Yeah, I just accidentally broke someone's neck. But... <laughs> accidentally? I didn't mean to execute him, it just kind of happened. They're dominating that pilot, kid. That's the worst, when you go to kill someone and you accidentally break their neck instead of peacefully just shooting them in the head. It's, it's so sad. So sad. Well, I was going to give him my battery, but he is now blowing up, Whoop. so... I was my reign was finally ended by uh, Echi Sensei Uwu. Hey kid, you're standing by. Oh, there was a robot too. I will be a robot. Fuck it. Game theory, is my dad working at Epic Games? I certainly hope not, because then it would be illegal for me to actually be in the Epic Partner Program or whatever the fuck it's called. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's that's a silly rule. Well, they hate gamers, so... Oh, fuck me. How do I get fucked by a Ronin this hard? <laughs> the Monarch is just that weak, isn't it? Well, no, like, you just, to avoid getting executed, just literally just don't be bad. I rarely get executed. You just gotta- I feel like I laser face. people as Monarch. Like, I literally will empty three entire clips, and I barely get their bar down. Monarch is... Yeah, she's not really a point damage titan. She's good at chip damage until you, at least at the beginning, then once you upgrade her, she gets really good. Yeah, once it's like a level three upgraded Titan, it's actually, it could do like just straight up assault fights, like picking targets and shit, but. Yeah. It's I mostly just the now. fact that she doesn't have any defense. Makes oh it, yeah, no. Makes it pretty difficult I've to just, you dash know, away. Yeah, play assault. Well, I'm dead. I accidentally auto uh, rodeoed the Titan. I may not survive this one! Oh, I'm good. I'll support you. Hello. Oh, there's, a, there's someone on that building. Oh, I died. I'm out of here. Fuck you, Monarch. You ain't getting my shit. He wanted your battery. Yeah, well, he's not getting it. He just wants the battery. Motherfucker. You want the battery? Come and get it. Give me the battery. Give me the battery. What is your fucking voice? Fucking Ricky the Rat? <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> that's what Captain Rocky sounds like. Oh god, no. Please god, no. Give me a victory. That is too abrasive. He doesn't he's a, sound... He's, he has... He has stage 4 lung cancer. Why does the fucking rodent <laughs> have stage 4 lung cancer? How did he get it? He smokes. Like, he, he joined the Royal Air Force and he just... He got addicted to cigarettes because all of his comrades kept dying. He needed a way As to... As a cadet, I got addicted to the cigs. <laughs> this isn't canon, by the way. Good. Beaver, uh, Weasel Company can't compete with Beaver 4 if Captain Rocky is dead from lung cancer. I mean, you could. You'd have to name a successor, but... Yeah, but who... What... Who would you name as this successor to fucking Sergeant Woody? I don't know. Beavar? You think Beavar could run Beaver for? I mean, I'm sure if someone trains him, like, <laughs> and if he learns English and understands economics, like, yeah. Well, then who replaces Beavar? Toby. Uh, Torky. <laughs> Although Torky would Torky would run the place into the ground. Torky would not do a good job. Yeah. How about Dior? Uh, Dior can't actually own a company. He, it's illegal for him. <laughs> well, why? 
Uh, he's an illegal immigrant. Oh no! Oh, that's very sad. Wow. Whoa, the ship exploded and it spawned three of me. Spawned three of you? Hey, I got third, look at that. Wow, gaming. I typed in gaming question mark and someone right after that said yes. <laughs> Alright, let me take a look at these uh, these DMs. Apparently Wayne has some Oh my god. They look great. What? I have I have Wayne doing more beavers. Oh my god, they look so good. Oh my roommate went to late night without me. That's so sad. You should sue him. You know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to sue my roommate into the ground. <laughs> Why are you suing your roommate? He didn't take me to dinner with him. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't go to late night with me one night out of three weeks. I just, I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> oh, new Prime Gaming loot. Let's see, World of Tanks. Oh god, the Prime Gaming loot. I can't wait. GTA Online. One million dollars and a submarine sonar station. League of yeah. Legends second skin shard. But oh, did you watch the Nintendo Direct? Probably not, right? No, I didn't care. So, I did, because I wanted uh -huh. to see who the new Smash character would be. Within, like, the... I don't know if you heard who it was. Wasn't it, like, another, like, anime sword woman? Yes. Not only that, not only is it another anime sword woman, but it's an anime sword woman for a series that already has representation in Smash. I don't get it. I really don't. It's, it's like, it... What... I, I mean, I know, like, two people who are excited about this. It's, like, there's only really been one exciting entry so far with Fighters Pass 2, and that was Steve. Steve was fucking insane. Like, when I got the oh, message yeah. that said, Minecraft Steve is in Smash, I was like, don't, don't, don't fuck with me. Don't, don't get me excited. But I he can't was actually take it. In Smash. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And he actually was. And now they, they're just like, yeah, Sephiroth, you know, from Final Fantasy, which is already in Smash. And now this fucking pirate bitch who's already... Xenoblade's already in Smash. Like, I don't, I don't know what they're doing. If they don't add... Like, I, I do still think Doom Guy would be cool as, like, a Mii Fighter costume at the very least. But I feel like they're just going to add more Fire Emblem characters for the next two, and that's going to be it. I don't think we're ever gonna get Doom in in Smash because I feel like Doom is such a violent game compared to everything else. See, I agree that it's definitely out there, but the thing is, Bayonetta is in Smash. Um, Travis Touchdown from No More Heroes is a me costume. Uh, the the Vault Boy from fucking Fallout. Where you can have sex with people. Wait, Vault Boy is it? Vault a Boy is a me costume. First we fight, then we really? Fight. Yeah. I did not know that. Fucking Sans. I mean, Sans isn't really violent, but you know what I mean. Like, I, I seriously think that they could just do like a Doom Guy costume, like the cutesy one from the uh, Steam emotes, and just have him be called Doom Guy, and that's it. Like, that's all they need to do, and I think they could do that. You know what we're gonna get instead? A, a fucking Fall Guys character. Yeah, as a, as that was player. like after that because we I watched the whole thing and it was it was just disappointment for 50 minutes. But the second announcement they made, to my recollection, was Fall Guys on Switch. They went from Xenoblade character in Smash to Fall Guys on Switch. Yeah. And then near the end, they were like, sorry, we I know a lot of you want to hear about Breath of the Wild 2, but we don't have any news to share. They hate gamers, I've they, told you this. Clearly. 
People get surprised. Oh, continue. People get surprised when I say they hate gamers. It's like, what? They can't hate gamers. They're a gaming company. It's like, no, they hate gamers. I'm not joking. I feel like most gaming companies do. I I have to do a uh, a D word yeah, voice I right see now. It. Would I you see like it. to hear it? Oh boy. I would like to hear it. All right. Oh, oh boy, dear. I seem to have gotten this random little invite uh, later from uh, the space community there. Can you imagine? Oh wait, I think. I think I, I seem to have gotten it later to be in this fish there. Can you imagine if viewer was in uh, Super Smash Brothers? I want um I want the main character of Surfball to be in Smash. We'll never get that. I want Borat to be in Smash. Hello, my name is Borat. <laughs> my name is Borat. I got leather from Smash. Yes, I would like to Smash. I come from Erdizikstan to understand Smash culture. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be down for Borat and Smash. It wouldn't make any fucking sense, but it'd be funny. Like, see, that's the thing. I'm I'm fine with Sans because that's fucking hilarious. Like, you can make in Smash Brothers, you can make Mario fight Steve from Minecraft, fight Snake from Metal Gear Solid, which is probably um, actually now that I think about it, it's on the same level of violence as Doom. If you think about it. Kind um, of, yeah, because you fight child soldiers in the latest game. Yeah, it's surprisingly gory. But then you can have Mario fight Minecraft Steve, fight Sans Undertale, fight Solid Snake. Who would win the ultimate question? Um... If... Alright, so if we think about this, I feel like Steve has a lot of implements at his disposal, but so does Snake. Mario would be killed instantly. Uh, okay, yeah, Mario would be fucked. Mario would have no chance. I feel like it's either Sans or Steve. Maybe Snake. I think Snake would be able to pull it out because Steve, like, he has a lot of... We have to question, like, what does he have at his disposal to work with? Yeah. Uh, okay, let's say it's hand-to-hand -hand combat only. Oh, then uh, probably Snake. Probably, yeah, because he's, he's the CQC man. Or if we take that battery and run away. If we okay. consider it as being like no you're just like dropped into an arena with no extra implements, then I feel like Sans would win because he's got that like weird magic shit. Or you know, it could be Steve because he just like spams left click and wins. He just has netherite armor on, enchanted, it's like fuck. I still haven't gotten netherite. I haven't played enough of the we nether update. It is hard as fuck to do. That bad, huh? Harder it than is. Well, I mean, obvious. <laughs> yeah. I have, we've been playing on the new server that we have for a while, mm -hmm. and we have only... I've only got um, netherite armor and some netherite pickaxes, and that's it. Wow. And it only takes one netherite to make gear, so I've got maybe six netherite items. Oof, wow. I should play with you guys at some point. Well, we're on bedrock. Never mind. Yeah, you don't have bedrock, do you? No, I do. I own it, because I have Windows 10. Oh. It's just an inferior version of Minecraft. How is it inferior? My dude. You think I am going to stoop to playing Windows 10 Minecraft when fucking Java exists? It's fine. It's the same game. It's not. It's not the same game. Yes, it is. Is Fortnite Mobile the same game as Fortnite? Yes. Is it better? I mean... No, but it's the same game. Okay. Would you rather play Doom on Switch or Doom on PC? Doom on PC, obviously, but it's yeah. not the same. It's not the same. You're still playing it on a PC. W okay, okay. Different question. Would you rather play um Coming out of my mental Okay, Jack just said this in my chat. Coming out of my mental stress break from the internet to say Bedrock fucking sucks. Check yourself, Beaver. What? Also, Deep says it's not that hard to get netherite, so maybe you're just bad at Minecraft. Well, I, I've never really tried, to be honest. Also, it has been a year since that update. I, I don't come back to Minecraft that often, and usually when I do, I play the shit out of it, but... I don't know, I guess...
guess I just haven't recently. I've been enjoying Minecraft a lot. I, I think mean, I'm enjoying it because it's just like me and the friends. Yeah. You know, you're just, you're just vibing. Yeah. Mining some blocks. And I do Very think it's cool. arguably deserving of its place as one of the most popular games of all time. Oh, it's such a creative, it's such a fun little game. You do whatever you want. Yeah, it's like Lego. If Legos was a video. But what was your analogy? I want to know what your analogy was going to be. It was going to be... I'm trying to think of an example of a game... Okay, would you rather play... It's... It, okay, so I'm trying to think of a game that you could play through an emulator, or you could play it directly on PC. Uh, MGS5. Alright, would you rather play MGS5 through an emulator with a mod for keyboard and mouse? Or... Would you rather play it directly on PC? Rather play it directly on PC. Yeah. So, why would you play what's essentially just a knockoff version of Minecraft where you have to buy skins instead of the original? I, the, the original is kind of bulky. It's a little difficult to get running sometimes, especially a multiplayer server. With Bedrock, you just turn it on and you can immediately invite all your friends to it. It's much easier. No IPs, no port forwarding. It just runs on Xbox Live. <laughs> Fucking X. Yeah, let me just sign into Xbox Live to play Minecraft with my friends. Same thing as logging into your Minecraft account. Yeah, except it's not fucking Xbox. Xbox, play Minecraft. I mean, you don't have to play on Minecraft or Xbox again. That's the, that's what I like about it. It's you just can ch you can choose where to play it. And also, you that's right. Deeves also brings up a good point. You technically can still just use your own skins. You can just download them. It's a little wacky to get it going, but it's doable. Also, Xbox Live is fucking easier than having an IP. Well, as someone who has a website, it's really not that hard to just, like, buy a domain for cheap. Plus, IPs aren't yeah, really you, that hard to share. I guess you could use uh, Rabbit Node, our sponsor for the evening. Be sure to use code Beaver at checkout to get... This Searbit stream is sponsored by Cloudflare. Have you ever wanted to own your own domain? but you feel like it's just too expensive from all these different registrars? Well, Cloudflare runs at cost. So what they pay to keep your domain running, that's what you pay. Go to cloudflare.com to transfer your domain to Cloudflare Registrar today. Banana. I know Beaver's IP, it's purple banana, it is. You guys want to know my social security number? It's 219-442782. Go wild. Is this a LifeLock advertisement? <laughs> yes. I love that ad because the guy got fucking hacked like 10 times. It yeah, no, you don't you don't give a that that isn't my SSN by the way. Get wrecked, idiots. Where's what? I've already opened up a credit card under your name. <laughs> Where is the Squarespace one? I I haven't heard enough Squarespace ads to do that. I can do NordVPN though. Do a Grammarly ad. God. Uh, can... Have you ever been writing a paper and you're just too fucking stupid to know how to use proper grammar and spelling? Grammarly is for you. It tells you every time you put in something dumb and tells you to kill yourself. Which is a little out there, but trust me, it works. Get Grammarly now. Oh god, I need my robo friends. No, they've escaped! Robo friends, where were you? Whoa, oh you god. top scored. Wait, I'm tied for first? We have hey. the same score. Hey, orange hair man, that's what I call you now. Because you are Orange Hair Man, that's me.
That is also true. If you really want it, I think you can do servers on Bedrock, although why would you want to do that? Uh, also, you can just, yeah, Deem said also you can just pay for a server. You can do that with Java too. What? You can do you can do realms on Java too. You can do you can realms, do and there's also like there's multiple services you can just buy a private server from. Although supposedly there's also services you can use for Bedrock. I don't know how that works. I've seen like actual servers for Bedrock. I don't That's know how they're weird. running or like who's running them. Easier to just join game. Yeah. Well, guess what? I don't remember asking. Sirbit is a, uh, a Linux user. He doesn't understand simplicity and ease of use. Well, he thinks everything needs to be run through sudo apt-get. I, I actually... No, I don't like Ubuntu. <laughs> Get that shit away from me. Wait, don't you... Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I'm going to pull me out of uh, queue because I can regen. Oh, yeah, do that. Ew! Let's regen. Uh, I'm still in queue. Oh, well, I guess it didn't carry us as a thing. Okay, well, I am I left the party, so you can just invite me. Okay. Your body can be restored, but much of your memory and experience will be lost. These you will have to earn all over again in battle. I would love to go to the next generation. Originally, the gen cap was 10 when the game oh, came that, out. <laughs> people probably flew through that. Oh, they did. They got it like instantly, and then they were like, all right, uh, we'll up it to 100. And then it took like months for people to manage to get to Gen 100. But they did. I remember it actually being impossible to get Gen or uh, Stoic Dark when the game came out. Why? Uh, I think it was just a bug because of the level cap. Interesting. Easy solution, ew, no, get that away. No, it's not that. Like, I'm fine with easy solutions. And in fact, like, generally the easier something is to handle, the happier I am with it. But I also am someone who doesn't really shy away from solving problems that I run into. And so I find Linux pretty appealing because, like, if something breaks, then I don't immediately have to blame the operating system and go, all right, I guess I can't fix this because I'm going to have 15 fucking barriers in my way. Like, Mac OS does the same thing. If something fucks up, it'll try to baby you through every possible solution, and you have to enter your admin password like 50 times just to change one fucking setting. I've done, and I've had to deal with that before. But Linux, like if something breaks, you can just Google, and people will be like, oh yeah, just run this command in your terminal, and bam, no problem. Or if it's an issue that I can solve, I actually kind of enjoy going through it and solving it. The difference with Minecraft is that people who use Minecraft Bedrock Edition are slack-jawed yokels. What? What does that mean? Java is better. Don't the test only, me, Beaver. The only, the only reason I would see anybody using Java over Bedrock is if they want to have really advanced multiplayer servers or if they want mods. Yeah. I don't really care about mods. And if I'm doing multiplayer, it's just with friends. So I might as well just use Bedrock where more people can join on multiple devices and be happy. I actually had someone brought up a good reason as to like why they don't care about games that like are, oh, well you can just mod it to make it better. It's like, I, if the game vanilla isn't fun, why would I want to mod it? Oh, I agree to... with that. Trust me. Like, I think mods are a great aspect of Java that Bedrock absolutely loses because it's more interested in having you pay for advanced content, which is true. Like, it, it does do that. It does make you pay for if you want, like, mod... Well, I guess mods in quotation because they're just kind of like maps. Yeah. That just have, like, custom things in them. Yeah, it, it, it makes you pay for that shit, where Java is just like, yeah, just download the world and shove it in there, and there you go. It, I, I, I just feel like Java's a lot more flexible, and it feels less like a product than Bedrock does. You know? Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's not trying to sell you shit. It's just a game, you buy it, and then you can mod the shit out of it with, like, whatever you want. Like, Although they are starting to go that route, it seems. Yeah. Because they just linked, they started doing the Microsoft accounts. 
Oh, I, okay, I, I, I am less angry about that than I am about the the Facebook accounts thing with Oculus. Okay, that was fucking stupid. Yeah, I... Requiring a Facebook account so I can use my Oculus? Like, no, I'm just going to use my Oculus account. Yeah, and that's pretty much what I'm going to do until January 2023, and I'm just going to either recycle or get rid of my Oculus Wait, Quest. what's going to happen then? Uh, then you can no longer use your, uh, headset. You have to link it with a Facebook account. So if I don't link... If I don't get a Facebook account and set it up and sync my Oculus to it, I'm just gonna boot it up one day, it's gonna be like, hey, you're actually not on a Facebook account, we're gonna not let you play your Steam games. Yes. What? In On January what? 1st, 2023, that will happen. That's fucking And so also, stupid. for anyone who buys a... This is for people who already owned a headset. For anyone who buys a new headset, you can't link it with an Oculus account. You have to link it with a Facebook account. Oh my god. Well, I mean, I have a Facebook account, I guess I'll have to link it, but who knows if I'll even be using the Oculus Rift S in 2023. Oh yeah, also your Facebook account has to be in good standing, whatever that means. What? So I could get banned on Facebook and then not be able to play my face, my VR game? This is correct. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, Facebook is fucking stupid. They also apparently banned their own account on Facebook recently, so that's funny. Oh, that's funny. But yeah, no, fuck Facebook, fuck Oculus. That, I did not know it was that bad. It's astonishingly bad. Holy shit, that is dumb. I'm, like, I enjoy VR, but not enough to the point where it's like, yeah, let me re-enable my Facebook account and sync all this up, and if I get banned on Facebook, like, what? Yep. Oh, shit. That is so fucking stupid. Like, people, we joke about hating gamers, Facebook actually just hates its audience. Hey, Facebook genuinely hates gamers. Aren't they having, like, some sort of, um, antitrust or, like, uh, monopoly lawsuit right now? I'm pretty- yeah, I'm pretty sure they're being investigated by the FTC right now. That's hilarious. It's- it, it's- god. Oh, also, um... I'm actually happy about this. So I had I looked into the whole Disney copyright thing uh, recently, uh -huh. and as it turns out, they didn't file for an extension last time uh, it came up. So uh, I think it was Great Gatsby actually went um, public domain either this year or last year. Yo, that's kind of lit. So we can make our own Great Gatsby. Look at that. Yep, we can. Uh, <laughs> Wayne can draw Great Gatsby porn if he wants to, and not get in trouble for it at all. Oh, good. Um, I don't know. I don't know why Wayne would want to do that, but yeah. But yeah, if Disney doesn't, I think it's next year. If Disney doesn't try and lobby Congress for another copyright extension, Steamboat Willie becomes public domain. Interesting. Although, why would? Why do they care about Steamboat Willie at this point? Because Disney holds on to their copyright with an iron grip. Like, if Steamboat Willie goes, then that means anyone can make a piece of Steamboat Willie-based Mickey Mouse media and make money off of it. Oh, so by extension, Mickey kind of goes... At least the original version of Mickey, yeah. Interesting. Which is why they've been extending it for this long. Like, they just keep adding more and more duration to it. But they didn't last time this came up, so... Maybe it'll finally be over. Maybe the mouse will finally be free. It's free! Oh boy. Okay. I was behind a wall, but sure. Did you see the thing with NVIDIA locking down their cards? For, uh, uh, good to go. Call it when ready. No, I didn't hear about that. What happened? Well, so NVIDIA did two things. They launched a crypto mining specific series of graphics cards for 3060s. Okay. Uh, with no display outputs. But they also, for their gaming 3060s... I did not see that guy on for the gaming 3060s, they implemented something in BIOS that 
halves the hash rate. So, crypto miners get half the performance they would normally get. Why? So that the miners don't use gaming graphics cards, because they suck. They now suck for mining. I hate. I don't like that, but I also am okay with it because then that means RTX will like be in stock somewhat. I I actually I love it because it's 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 a stay mad moment for me. It's like these people threw a bunch of money at Nvidia to get graphics cards to make to burn power to make money and now they can't get their return. Titan's ready, kid. Stand and buy for oh wow, that's a no-no word. Yeah, that's kind of fucking weird. I don't know. This guy is just going all out, isn't he? I mean, they were also selling GPUs directly to miners, though, and they bragged about it during their earnings call, apparently, so I'm not really sure what their end goal is. I'm very confused as well. Okay, what the fuck is happening? Titan ready. Call it any time, kid. Apparently, Titanfall- wait, what the fuck is this? Who am I? What is this gun? This is not... This is... I'm a... I'm not a mod. What, what am I? What is this? I didn't even realize we were losing this badly. Yeah, uh, the Titanfall score, or the Titanfall chat has been very mean. I noticed. I, I saw a very not good word. Yeah, the no-no word. I, I don't know how to play this character. I've never played this character. God damn it. I'm gonna wait to drop my Titan until they win. Yeah, I didn't realize that I was not playing as Monarch. I am now a different robot. What, what robot are you? I don't know. What are your weapons? Uh, it was a laser thing. Uh, it had the shield where it grabs the bullets. Uh, and then it had a, Okay, then I was Ion. Oh, did you never perma unlock Monarch? No, I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know. Huh. It is Ion? Okay. GG, easy game. Where's this guy's sk <laughs> What? <laughs> this motherfucker said GG, easy fragging. game, and he's bottom fragging. What a fucking loser. <laughs> Toxicity in this match is very disappointing. All right, we got a e back. Let's get out of here. Hey, let's e back. Don't leave me. Here we go. Play No Earth Star the most. I play Monarch. I've only ever played Monarch. So, any other Titan to me is like a different language. Wow, this chat is yeah, this so chat is fucking angry. Really toxic. This is the angriest Titanfall chat I've ever seen. That is, wow, that's like legal. Holy, Holy shit. shit. God, that is so upset. Hoes are, my God. This is hose the maddest mad. I've seen hoes in a long time. All right, let me change my Titan before I forget, though. I, I have Monarch. I just didn't have it on, apparently. I really like North Star. Um, I I mean, I would say she is probably my favorite Titan. But I do, I like all of them except Ronin. Except Ronin's great in Frontier Defense, so I like all of them. I guess Beaver just... Beaver just knows what he wants. I guess I do. I don't know. I just like how nice she is to me. 
She is nice. Again, it's like, it's so nice to have you back. It's like, oh, thank you. Fun fact, Monarch was created from analyzing BT's corpse. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they did a great job. They did a good job. <laughs> yeah, they, they nailed the design. I actually have, uh, I'm almost, I'm very close to getting the orange robot skin. Ooh. G7 on that. Almost there. Almost. I'm G5. Whoa. Yeah, what the fuck? That's, I, okay. Didn't realize it was actually that close. Very interesting. You want to level up Titans fast, you play Frontier Defense. We could do that towards the end of the night if you want. I don't yeah, know how much sure. longer you want to play, but... I'll probably do. I'll do it for more games. God damn it, I have Sarah on. <laughs> yep. Every time. You know, I can see your chat. You don't have to mute when you, um... When oh, you okay. Well, then I'll just start. See, every time I go to talk to chat, too, I have to hold the mute button, and it's actually really, like... Just that simple act of holding that button is actually really distracting me from playing the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to. I can see your chat. All right. You're good. I just want to be nice, because a lot of the streamers I've played with uh, recently in the past couple weeks have been, like... They do that as well, and it's like, you know, I shouldn't be talking to chat. Yeah. On Mike. And it's like I want I wanted to hear your response to are you a TTV sweat? Yes, I am the sweatiest person in this game. Um Yeah, well you're not sweatier I, than me, gamer. Am I on a pro team? No. God no. Well uh, if you... I know a couple Valorant pros if that means anything. How do they feel about having spyware installed on their computers? Oh god, I, I've i been asked to install Valorant and I've been really close to trying it out, but I'm like, dude, I do not want to put this shit on my computer. Yeah, I would, like, easy anti-cheat to me is fine because it doesn't run constantly, but the Valorant shit, it, when you turn on your PC, yep, that's turning on. You want to remove it? Yeah. Congratulations, you can't play Valorant. And their response to me every time I bring that up is like, oh, you can just disable that. It's like, okay, so I boot it up and then I turn it off? What? It, it's just... No, no, keep that shit away from my computer, thank you. I'm confused on the angles I'm being shot from, because I feel like I'm just getting shot from, like, like through walls sometimes. Yeah, um, like, I felt like I was behind cover. Hey, that just happened to me. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing fucking awful this match again. I'm doing okay. Wait, is the guy who's top bragging on their team, is he the guy from last game? Yes, it is, I think. Oh, Euphrates? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. I think there was a pilot in here. Cloaked. Yes, there is. Yeah. I don't have an what, is, what, what is this guy using? Is he using the DMR? Yeah. Possible. He's level 50 and he's shit talking? He's good. I don't know. He's just believing in himself. Believing in yourself is not the true way to enlightenment. The way to enlightenment is being. Okay. I, the, everywhere I go, there's a, somebody shooting at me. Literally every possible fucking direction. And I just wasted my grenade. You know, Aiden, I hate to tell you, that's kind of how video games work. Well, I don't like video games then. <laughs> this is officially a non-gaming Twitch stream. After today, get the get a fill of me playing video. Wait, 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 bad. wait. Not only do you hate women, but you hate video games too? Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Is the 1v1 today? Oh, gee, I forgot about the 1v1. Oh shit, we could do that. We could do that towards the end. Just for the memes. See, I need, before I end up rebranding Beavercore, I need, if I lose, of course, which yeah. wouldn't happen, because I'm just such a fucking, no. such a fucking god in this game. Um, if I lose, I need to find out if I'm actually able to rename the team without a delay or anything, because I do not want the team name to be Weaselcore for more than a day. <laughs> if there's like a cooldown on it or I can't rename it back, I'm not doing it. Oh. Right. Yes, I can't have it be fucked, and I don't want to contact Twitch support and wait two weeks. Contact to Twitch support be like, hey, I made a bet, and now I have to change my Twitch team name three times in three minutes. Can you cool, <laughs> can you change the cooldown for me? Thanks. One actually, I think I I mentioned this. I don't know if you were aware, but I actually am now going to be doing stuff for like the subreddit, the Twitch subreddit. I'm going to be doing like wikis for them and like uh, editing that, the data on there. Why? Just for fun. I have free time. Why not? Are you doing it for free? Yeah. Everybody who works there is doing it for free. It's a fucking Twitch subreddit. I don't, Bro. is there, are there subreddits where people get paid? Yes. What? I want to be paid yeah, for it's moderating like they're paid, subreddits. they're paid Twitch mods, they're paid Reddit mods. That's kind of crazy though. Give me your battery, sir. Oh, I can't get your battery. Fuck. Yeah, I'm doing really poorly this game. I am also doing really poorly this game. I blame it on... My shoddy American education. Yeah, honestly, I, I will blame the American education system. If only I was given more of a chance in high school. Yeah, the No Child Left Behind act really did leave me behind. I do feel left behind, though. <laughs> yeah. Homies really do be feeling left behind out here. Hope you enjoy that cute little beaver emote. Fuck. Just unlocked that? Yeah, I, I enjoy people trying out those emotes. I like when people use their channel points to get it. It's easy, too. It's the price of following gets you it. Did I already told you uh, Wayne is working on new beaver emotes, right? Yes. Yeah. He just sent me a preview of one of them, and it looks fucking adorable. He should be instead working on a weasel company emote. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to need it, so... <laughs> yep. Titan's ready, kid. Uh, Wayne sent me something a couple days ago, and I'm not gonna say what it is, but it made me very happy. I think I already know what it is. Really? Possibly? I mean, I can't say it. Yeah, obviously. But I, I, I'm pretty sure I feel like I know what you're talking about. Well, if you just do, fucking... then... You know why I was so fucking happy when I saw it. Uh, n see, now I'm second guessing myself. I'll have to DM you and ask if that's what it is or not. Yeah. And I'm re at this point, I feel like I'm not even playing this match. I feel like I'm just running around and getting shot. Yeah. Not really focusing. That's how I feel when I play Apex. Video games are hard. Oh my god! But how are you doing, Shrod? It's, it's nice to see you. I didn't say hello to you. I feel like Euphrates has really, really high mouse sensitivity and he's struggling to control his uh, mouse. Like, watch it. If you get killed by him, just watch it kill him. It's kind of bizarre. I Fucking clue. I feel like everybody I'm coming up against is just like flying. They're doing like a fucking Half-Life 2 speed run, and I just can't keep up. I loved watching the uh, some Half-Life devs watch a Half-Life 2 speed run. They're like, holy fuck! Did you see the IGN video of the Hitman 3 developers reacting to Hitman speed runs? I haven't seen that one. I've seen the Doom Eternal one and the Half-Life one, but I haven't. There was seen it. one where literally the mission starts and the guy finishes it within four seconds. And they were like, this map took us almost a year to design. <laughs> okay, I gotta watch it after the stream. That sounds fucking hilarious. 
then one of them goes like this. He just watches it happen, they're dead silent, someone just goes, This map took us nearly a year to design. <laughs> Such a sad little sound. God. Look at this fucking, like, they're... They're zooming. I, I just can't, this is why I can't compete, because they're, they're all fucking b-hopping with snipers. So if I see one of them, I just get fucked. Damn, get dunked on. Oh, no chaos, I'm sorry to hear. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. A fake story. Sadness. It was very sad, that's sad. Are you fucking joking, dude? To fucking hell. Where's the evac gonna be? I have no idea. This guy is literally right on my deck. Oh, yep, I predicted correctly. It's back here. I don't really care. I leveled up like seven times on this one. Oh, uh, well, I can't go this way. Hello, CGW. Welcome to the Strom. Something tells me that's a fake story. You're a detective, ain't ya? Her boy. Clever girl. Why are they dropping enemies right on us like this? Alright, right, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Are we escaping? Good. Yeah, we made it. We made it out. We did it. Woo! I feel I, like that Hitman video that was fucking hilarious. I bottom fragged so fucking hard. I could not get a fucking break. I don't think I want to do the 1v1 tonight. I think I'll... I think we should do one Frontier Defense match and then I'll probably wind down. Okay. Let's do a Frontier Defense match. All right, I'll pull us out of Q. Although that's gonna keep you in Q, isn't it? Uh, it might. No, because it says waiting for. Oh, I can regen. Uh, oh, regen then. Yeah, I'm gonna regen. You just leave your Titan behind. Well, they're not that valuable. They just kind of. There's like a million of them. It's okay. I'll get another one. <laughs> Literally, they just fall from the sky. That's how invaluable they are. It's like rain. It's like there's rain a rock. there's a comic that someone made where do the pilots like, all right, I need new Titan. And they're like, you just, we just dropped you one. He's like, yeah, I know, but I need a new one. They're like, do you have any idea how much these fucking things cost? Like, imagine this game, but whenever you drop a Titan, the announcer gets more and more mad that you keep blowing them up. It's like, that's okay, we'll drop you one more Titan. I need a new one. We just <laughs> dropped you that one. <laughs> Come on. There was a guy with a nuke. He blew it up. <laughs> I need new Titan, please. Sarah Briggs is on the phone. Do we have fucking insurance? Are we able to afford this? <laughs> they have Titan insurance. That's a good question. Do they have Titan insurance? Probably not. All right, I'm gonna That'll be, be I'm actually gonna be right back. I'm gonna chance this, but I gotta refill my water. Oh boy, okay. Get that water then. Yeah. Oh yeah? But uh, I guess this is a good time while he's away to just mention if anybody is new uh, and you're enjoying the stream, hit the follow button because it helps me out immensely. Uh, and also, Searbit is streaming on his own channel. It's S E R E B I T if anybody else is interested. Uh, I'm going to keep gaming. I don't know. He said he's getting off after this one. I'm keep. I'm going to stay gaming. Just like hoes stay mad, but. I treat my Titan with respect. Okay, well, when I'm getting shot at and I have to escape an enemy planet, I'm going to leave it behind because it won't be able to fit in our ship. How are they even coming here? That's the real question. Who is shooting them down? Are we storing these in the atmosphere? Do we just have these like on satellites or some shit and we're just like, oh, we need to just blah, throw it down. Like who is in charge of these Titans? I don't understand the system. I'd love to know. What a gamer? Thank you, Giant. I am a gamer. Certified gamer. As seen in many outlets.
Apparently Discord's falling apart. I don't know. I fight with my Titan until it is over. Well, as someone who doesn't want to die, I leave it behind if it's going to blow up. <laughs> But I will be Monarch, because I love Monarch. We're doing forward base? Interesting. This is an easy map, I hear, from the way Campbell talks. But let us use our double XP. Desertion is not cool. Okay. Do the fucking robots have any sense of, of compassion or empathy? They just do their job and blow up. Okay? They tell you to leave them. When they get low on health, they're like, yeah, you should get out. You should dip. I'll deal with this. And then they usually oh, die. You ready for thrills, chills, and okay, well then that's not my fault. <laughs> that's them. That's their own doing at that point. Well, unless you eject, then it is your fault. What's up, Salty? Why are they only sending four pilots to protect this shit, too? Can we just talk about that? Because they only need four pilots. But they're sending an entire army along with other pilots. No, there are no other pilots. It's all just auto oh. titans. Excuse me. Sorry. What's going on in stream cord, Salty? I see staff chat is kind of lighting up. Or is this something that should not be said on a stream? They're talking about um, <clears throat> how they're going to eject you from the staff members. Oh, God. And that I will my be job. the new co owner of stream cord. That would be depressing. I'm going to... No. I'm gonna code a new beaver. I'm gonna code a new beaver. I can't believe I fucking died. I'm actually upset. Did you die to grunts? I died to a grunt. I literally walked up to a grunt and let it fucking kill me. Wow. I'm literally griefing my fucking self. That's... astonishingly impressive. <laughs> Fixed stream cord it broken. It, when is it not broken, okay? Hey, with Campbell doing things, maybe it won't be broken after a while. We're still, like, with Spyglass, we're still gonna have to, like, test it, because it is... The, the way I'm designing it to work is pretty different in some respects to how uh, the current system works. So Akira's gonna have to do some stuff on his end, but I am doing my best. I'm hoping that it will solve some of the issues that have been plaguing our, our poor pro subscribers. Akira was telling me our pro subscriber count has, like, been rising dramatically. Complete like, redesign time? Oh god, I'm not touching the dashboard. That's Akira's job. Akira does a lot of changes to the dashboard. It seems like almost every week gives a new potential UI layout. I mean, I, I respect it. I hate web development, so... He loves UI design, it seems. I, you know, I'm, I do like me some uh, UI design. Honestly, like, it, that's one of the things that I found is pretty common with coding. Like, you're never 100% satisfied with something you put out there. You always want to fuck around with it at least a little bit. Oh, right, why was I... I could have gotten a battery. Why was I... The lizard pog. I love the lizard. It's a very cute pog. Is that is that the new permanent pog? That is the new permanent pog champ. The fucking... I guess lizards it's can't also... be racist. It's already actually a new... That's already an emote. Like, that's been an emote. They just replaced it to be PogChamp. Wow. Which, like... It, part of me is like, yes, I like this emote. I like the idea of having a lizard PogChamp. It looks cute. It works for PogChamp. But at the same time, it's like... The, you've... We've already had this. Like, you just renamed it to PogChamp. I don't feel like this is a a suitable replacement. I also feel like it doesn't have the same weight that PogChamp had. It like I I think it's I think it's adorable, but it's I don't know, it doesn't evoke the same emotions as PogChamp did. Yeah, I agree. Where should I put my arc trap? Um I would put it well, there's going to be a lot of nuke titans coming in through the middle, so I'd probably put it, like... I'll just put it up middle. Yeah, up middle's also good, because there's going to be a lot of ticks coming up there. Come, robot. I need you. Yeah, the new pog champ. I liked when they replaced it. I liked the idea of having a new pog champ. I understand why they didn't feel like having to do that, and why they didn't want to keep doing that, because it is a bit of a hassle to manage. Yeah. But that was a cool idea. 
I think it would have been better, even if they only did it for partners, if they let people upload their own Pog Champ emojis, and then that would be the Pog Champ on their channel. That would actually, yeah, that would be cool. Although, ah, uh, well, it would limit. I think it would be good if you could set whether or not you want to use the base Pog Champ or the Streamers Pog Champ. Because I feel like some people would be like, no, I don't want to use this stupid Pog Champ, I want to use regular ones. I can see that. I, I don't know. I, I just, the idea of them just replacing Pog Champ. They took Komodo hype and turned it into a Pog Champ, which is like, it works. I think it's a good emote, but I don't think replacing that. And they yeah. still have Komodo hype too. So there's just what? two of the same emotes. Okay, it, it is a little weird to me though that they they went through this whole business of like, oh, we're gonna do a new Pog Champ every day, and then the Pog they did it for a while, and then the Pog Champ they ended up with the one they already had was a different. Game. Like, so what was the point? Was yeah. it not to find a cool new Pog Champ? God damn it! I wanted to execute him. The, I don't know the Pog Champs. It could have been better. I'm I'm okay with how it ended, but it could have been a lot better. Yeah. I mean, does does a better Twitch TV or Frankenface have the original Pog? Uh, I know BTV does. I think Frankerface took it down though. Frankerface deleted the old Pog. That's sad. I mean, I know the guy's a dick, but I think we should be able to separate the art. Well, art. The face from the faces. I kind of, I agree that like separate art from artist, but I also could see how literally him, it literally was just his face. Like people were going to make that connotation. Yeah. I actually think it could have been pretty disrespectful though. If you think about it, like what if no one even paid attention to that tweet that he made? And they just kept using his face. So that's everywhere he'd go, he'd be like, Oh, you're the Pog Champ guy! Ha! <laughs> Pog Champ! Like, think about. Uh, there's like. Oh, sorry, continue. Like, think about how, the, how annoying that would have to be for him. Yeah, that would be pretty shit. I think he said he hated being, like, recognized as the Pog Champ person. Yeah. So it'd be like. Oh. It, it would be a pretty great slap in the face. It. But I, I do get why they took it down. Yeah. And, uh, Giant, the, the Streamcord server, I think, has like 13,000 people in it. Which is actually now bigger than the Apex server, which is kind of crazy. Although Apex had like 20,000 at its peak, so. Yeah, you're still not quite there. Yeah. There's a Discord I'm in with like 10k people that uses both Streamcord and Streamcord Pro. Nice. Hey, look at that. Big servers using the bot. Good promotion. I think me and Akira were talking about like, who is the biggest streamer that uses Streamcord? And I think we found someone with like a million followers using Streamcord in their server. It's me, I'm the biggest streamer who's using Streamcord. Yeah, you have a million, there you go. <laughs> I'll follow bot you up to a million, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll finally get partner. I'll finally be a Twitch partner, what I always wanted! <laughs> I can finally set my emote prefix to not be terrible. Oh my god, that's like one of the only things I care about with partner perks. Got enemy titans coming your way, get ready. Happens all the time with the uh, Destiny 2 Discord. Oh yeah, uh, fucking Discord sometimes just completely falls apart with big servers. It's actually kind of sad that the infrastructure can't really handle it. But whatever. Who's your favorite streamer? Uh, Salty. Is your is your auto titan okay, Campbell? Oh no, she isn't. 
Now she is. Well, it just, it just kind of walked up to me and stared at me for a little bit, so I was a little concerned. I was like, what's going on? Am I allowed to say? Yeah, you can say the name. I don't really care. I, if you post a link, you might... Well, you're a sub, so you should be fine. If you post a link, there might be an issue, but... It's a, it's a titty streamer. Penta? Nice. Okay. Who's Penta? I actually don't know who Penta I've never heard of Penta. Whatever gets the job done. Wait a second. RP's GTA 5? I love GTA 5 RP streamers. Wait a second. What? Is that beacon in the background? That dish? Yeah. That's a PNG. What do you mean it's a PNG? It's a it's an image. It's a flat image. We've been lied to. I somehow in my like 600 hours of Titanfall 2. Probably more than 600 actually. Probably like 650. I've never noticed that. I guess it's not that big of a deal. It's just a background image. Yeah, but like, what the heck? Yeah, how did you even notice that? That's a great question. Uh, I don't. I actually don't know. Especially even at like 720p, because that's what I'm playing the game at right now. Why are you playing at 720p? Uh, because this game is weird with full screen. Um, so I elect. To, and I don't have my multi monitor set up anyway, so so that I can see chat, I'm just playing in window mode right now. So it's really surprisingly well though. I think, Salty, I think I noticed because of the flat shading, like it doesn't really make sense how it's lit in comparison to the sun. My man's is just out here fucking staring at the fucking Titanfall backgrounds all day rather than the robots attacking. Well, it was the start of the wave. Come on. That and, like, the edges... No, there's... I can also zoom in with North Star, so it's easier for me to see it. Oh, there's infantry near the harvester. Oh my god, that boy pulled up. Kaboom. I would... What do you think about doing a Gmod RP stream one day, Camel? I've never done Gmod RP. So It's kind of awful, but it can also be really funny. I I would not be opposed to it. I would RP as uh, a man who enjoys Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Shut the fuck up. What's up, Noah? Our shit is fucked. No, we're, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. I'll check it out, Giant. I love Gmod RP. It, like, it's honestly, a lot of the public servers especially, which I don't think there are that many non-public servers for Gmod RP, but a lot of Gmod RP is just kind of people running around and just kind of like hiding in their own base, and it's like if you walk in, they just shoot you. <laughs> that, that's kind of the experience. Sounds like fun. It's also a bit of a fucking hassle the first time you go to play because you have to down you have to spend like 30 minutes downloading assets and half the time doesn't even download properly. Sorry, you don't have Counter Strike Source. Is Counter Strike Source on uh, Linux? Yeah, all Valve. Oh. I did not know that. I mean, they did make a Linux gaming console a while back. That's what the Steam Machine was. I know that was Linux, yeah, but nobody cared about it. Yeah. I still have a Linux uh, Steam Link, or just a Steam Link. Yeah, I, I, I have one too. I don't really use it. I don't really ever use it. Oh, I never use it. I think it's been sitting on my thing collecting dust, but Yeah, still. it was like, what, $7 at that uh, at one point? Uh, it was one dollar. It cost more to ship yeah. it to me than it did. Yeah, I remember that. Fire. I think they just wanted to get rid of all the inventory they had. Because they yeah. were discontinuing it. And they were like, we'll still be supporting the Steam link, but, you know, you could just download the app instead. Yeah, there's that, and then apparently they also made this thing where you can roll your own uh, little Steam link box with a Raspberry Pi. That's kind of cute. Yeah. So they're doing that instead of selling the individual units, which, which I think is the way to go, personally. Yeah. 
Can't you load other operating systems on Steam Link? Uh, not on Steam Links. Maybe like a low-power Linux, but on a Steam machine, I think there was technically a way you could just get Windows or something on it. Yeah, because I mean, I imagine the Steam uh, uh, Steam machine was probably just oh, like I'm up for another a little SOC inside the box. A lot of them. I think the issue with the Steam machines were a lot of them were just kind of low power. Like, they really yeah. didn't have a lot of horsepower. They were using, like, laptop GPUs half the time. Isn't SteamOS pretty much Linux? It is. It's, I mean, it's essentially discontinued. It's abandoned. But it, I think it, I think it actually is uh, just a custom version of Linux. It's a Linux distribution like any other. I think it's Ubuntu-based, even. <laughs> Ubuntu. Ubuntu. <laughs> How adorable. Pilot, disengage. We're being attacked by multiple titans. It's like, oh damn, that's crazy. I don't care. It's Debian based? Oh, okay. I stand correct. Honestly, probably a better idea to go with a Debian, direct Debian based than a Ubuntu base. I don't know the difference because I'm a little baby. Alright, here's here's the sitch. Ubuntu is based on Debian. Uh, and then there's a bunch of OS's that are based on Ubuntu. So there are OS's that are based on Ubuntu based on Debian. But Steam OS, instead of being based on Ubuntu, is just based on Debian. Interesting. It takes the direct path. It's the like the one thing on God's green earth that isn't Ubuntu based. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my the Linux distribution I use is Ubuntu based. It's actually not based on anything, which confuses redditors quite a bit. What did wait? What do you use? What happened? Based based on what? Um. What I, type of Linux do you use? I use Solus, which is a Linux distribution that isn't really based on anything. It's not based on Ubuntu or Debian. It's just kind of its own thing. Why do you use so? What is so bad with Ubuntu? Why do why do people hate on Ubuntu? Uh, cause the people who run it are foreheads. Um, they tried to do the Apple thing and stopped supporting 32-bit, and then everyone got really pissed off at them, so they rolled that back. They just like there's a desktop environment I like, Budgie, and Ubuntu Budgie has to be the worst version of Budgie that exists. Like, they tried to turn it into a fucking tablet OS. It's it's awful. They just make a lot of dumb decisions and their infrastructure is bad and it's not very stable in comparison to other ones. See, when I was like a kid and I still had a netbook, I used, it had like Windows XP on it and I was like, well fuck Windows XP, I can barely run, I could run everything, but at the time I was like, yeah, this can't run anything. I want to play new games, let me get Ubuntu. So it's like the, like the Wayne mentality, essentially. Yeah, yeah, so I got Ubuntu on that, I thought it was fine, like, it wasn't Windows, it definitely had more quirks than Windows, but I thought it was fine, I thought it was acceptable. See, and it felt like it had the Ubuntu feel. What happened with me was I didn't want to program on Windows, so when I built my own computer, I was like, all right, I'm going to try installing Linux on one of the two hard drives that I got. And I did, and within about a month, so I installed Ubuntu because that was like the only Linux distribution I knew about. And there's this one issue that it had where if you screenshotted something with the screenshot tool, the little, it would like show a little, you know, semi-transparent rectangle over where you were trying to select. And that rectangle wouldn't go away. Interesting. And I got so annoyed with it because I take I take quite a few screenshots. I was like, all right, I'm just going to install Mint instead. Oh, yeah, I screenshot all the time. I needed a screenshotting tool, a reliable one. Yeah, so you, you screenshot and then every time you do, a that little rectangle is left on your screen. Yeah, yeah um, so I just gave up and installed Mint, and then a couple weeks later I installed Solus, and I never moved away from it. It's just like, it, it doesn't get in the way, it does what I need. I'm happy with it. I would get the Miley Cyrus Windows XP Fucking edition. Fucking Hannah Montana Linux, dude. Yeah, Hannah Montana Linux. The best version of Linux. There's a, I mean, the, 
That's the nice thing about Linux, though. You have the freedom of choice. Like, there's Mint, there's Ubuntu, there's Debian, there's Arch, Fedora, OpenSUSE, OpenSUS, uh, Red Hat, fucking... Even Oracle has a Linux distro. Intel has one, too. Dude, that's fucking awful. Yeah, um... I think IBM shut down a Linux distribution that they kind of bought. I think it was... I think it was REGL. And uh, Oracle stepped in and was like, hey, if you want an alternative, try Oracle Linux. It was like, shut the, the fuck up, Oracle. Go away. You're not going to believe this, but all the Titans in this game, canonically, they run off of Windows 98. Wow. It's the only thing that supports, that, that's supported on their processor. It's insane. I know. I mean, I'm running... Fun fact, I'm running this game on Linux right now. So you're telling me that the you're running this Windows game on Linux and all the Titans in the game are running Windows. Yeah. Wow, that's meta. It's meta as fuck, dude. That's so fucking meta. Uh, can you drop some money in? If you have any. I have 36. I can give you 36. Okay. Well, I think... Oh, no. No one else dropped any money in. Okay. I was gonna try and buy one more, uh... Well, I guess I will take the 36. I was gonna... Fuck it, I'll get another arc trap. I like Windows. I've used all the operating systems. And I think... Honestly, my favorite probably has to be Mac. If I could, I would, I would fully transition to Mac. I don't like Mac OS because I don't like how it seems to insist that I am a baby. I can see that, but I think the thing that does it for me is just how well optimized it is and how thought out a lot of simple actions are. Like, it's, it's kind of just second nature to navigate on Mac, I feel. Mac feels... Every, everything feels... everything makes sense to me. Elementary OS, uh, Shroud Tr brings up a good point. Elementary OS is essentially like, what if the designers from Apple made a Linux distribution? I have not tried Ma uh, Elementary, I've heard of it before. Uh, but I, I kind of just figured it was like standard Ubuntu with a skin over it. That's my, that's kind of my thing too, like I didn't, I don't know how Linux works, so a lot of, uh, for a long time I was like, this is just Ubuntu. What, Mint Linux? So this is just Ubuntu just called Mint? Why are there so many versions of Ubuntu? <laughs> because Ubuntu is an easy thing to base shit off of. Um, the thing with Apple is it feels to me kind of like a game console branded as a computer in some ways. Like the it reason, definitely feels like that. The yeah. reason it's no, optimized I, I know what you're talking about. is because they have limited hard... They can control the hardware so they can optimize for specific hardware. And then like... Whenever you try to do something that Apple didn't, that isn't like something that, you know, Stacy who vlogs on her MacBook from the Starbucks down the street does, it's fucking impossible. Like, Apple really does not want you to be the one who owns your hardware, and that really pisses me off. There was this one time, um, because I work for the IT department for my school newspaper, and I was installing bamboo tablet drivers on the Macs that we have. Mm -hmm. I got to the sixth of the... So I was installing all of them. Um, I was installing the driver on all of them. They were all the same model. And five out of six times it worked. I was getting angry because it made me input my admin password three times to install the driver on all of the computers. Yeah, it definitely wants you to do it a lot. It, it wants to make sure you're sure of what you're doing. Yeah, and I, I don't like that. Like, if I'm gonna fuck up my shit, let me do it. It's my mistake. But that wasn't even the part that pissed me off the most, because when I got to the last computer and I installed the thing and I restarted it, it got in the boot loop. Sounds fucking great. I managed to brick Mac OS by installing tablet drivers. I have never had any sort of fatal issue. I've never had a crash on Mac. I've had a crash on Ubuntu. I've had a crash on Windows numerous times on Windows the most. 
I've never crashed Mac. I don't remember if I crashed Mac. Well, I mean, there was, there was that, but... No, that's like, just I part mean, of Apple's focus on security. That's true, like, they are I, kind of focused on security. I don't... No, because, like, you can still fuck everything up over in the terminal if you really want to. Like, there's a way to run the super user and you... And essentially, if you have local access to a computer, all bets are off. Can I get fucking help? I'm about to blow up. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm right here. Oh. Well, they're kind of just upset. They're very angry. I appreciate what Apple tries to do for computing, in a sense. But I cannot use Mac OS. I, like, I liked it a lot when I used it, and then I used Linux for, like, two years, and I tried using Mac OS again, and I just fucking can't. I would, I would sooner use Windows as a daily driver than I would use Mac. Yeah, I, I don't know. I like Apple. Like one thing I like about iPhone too, because I obviously I use iPhone. It's again, it's just ease of use and the privacy control stuff on iPhone is really nice. I like the idea of like they lock everything fucking down on iPhone so that nobody like even now with the new app stuff that they're doing where it's like Google and Facebook are really pissed over it where they're yeah, I am, I'm people. happy about that. Yeah, that to me is like, yes, this is exactly what I want to know. Gmail hasn't been updated in two months since they've done that, by the way. That's hilarious. They haven't updated the Gmail app because they don't want to say what they're doing. I mean, I I do appreciate that they're at least forward about security. I still think trusting Apple is a mistake. Because mm -hmm. I think trusting any multi-billion dollar corporation is a mistake. But it's certainly refreshing over Google, who really just do not care. All of our fucking turrets, they're off. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, well, okay. Guess what? Your Titan's ready to kick some ass. Come to me, robot. I need you. Don't die, robot. I don't like the sign in with Apple thing because I, well, I kind it, it's weird for me because I like account centralization in a sense because it means that there's less attack surface for like. You know, if I use the same password and everything, or similar passwords, then there's only... If, if I sign in with Google on one service, for example, I'm not trusting that service with my security, I'm trusting Google with my security. But right. the issue with that is that if Google gets hacked, then now all my accounts are compromised. So there's really no way to win. Yeah. You're sacrificing something, by the way. I think biometrics are going to be crazy. Like, 10 years from now, everything's going to be biometrics. We're going to have biometrics everywhere, I think. Biometric, I mean, it's it's been no secret that Touch ID was less secure than a six-digit password. The face ID, if we get the technology more secure, I think not having to remember what a 16-digit password is and rather just log into my bank with my face, I think that's so much easier. It's easier, but you can also print out a picture of someone's face and get the same... I mean, it, it's way easier to brute force. At least as far as I can tell. How am I doing so poorly in these fucking matches? I don't get it. I feel like I do all the work and I get bottom frag. I don't know, man. It just kind of be like that. I guess it do. I guess that's what happens when you play Monarch. Fuck. Yep. All right. I am going to wind down my stream. It was fun playing video games with you. Thank you so much. Uh, I wish I didn't have to wait like 30 minutes for you to get on. But, you know. I, well, you know. That's what happens when you're too much of a gamer. I was over here gaming, as you all know. I yeah. didn't have time to game on that level. I was too busy gaming on the other level. So, whatever. Well, yeah. I will see you later, Beaver. Goodbye, Have Campbell. a good rest of your stream if you're going to continue. I'm going to continue. All right, well, have fun. Enjoy. Thank you. I dropped my pen. All right, gamers, that's going to be it for tonight. Um, I'm going to check out the VOD, see if uh, the quality is better on my local recording, because I did try something different with it. I did. I used hardware encoding this time to see if the quality, or, well, actually, it ran a lot better. Like, I was, I was pleasantly surprised. I think the encoding, I think it might actually be the best strat to use hardware encoding and software encoding. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the stream. Um, I'll be back on Sunday. And 
I'm gonna I'm actually just I'm gonna raid him. Fuck it. So I'll see you guys later.